Brilliant. Today, I want to encourage you to say yes to the God power that is within you that you can use to achieve your every desire. You see, that was the message that was started to never gather by his mentor, Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia. He was teaching Neville how to activate and operate the innovative, creative, imaginative power. And many of our people have been rejecting this power because they believe in an outside savior. They believe in an outside Lord and master. And they believe in an outside creator. But I'm saying the creator is within you because the creative and as I said before, innovative power is always within you. So you have to definitely accept this power. But how are you going to accept this power? You cannot accept this power by joining a religion or going to church or even just quoting the Bible. You have to accept this power by becoming a doer. You see, knowledge is power when it's been applied. So when you get the knowledge of the power that is within you, you have to put it to the test. That is why you're told in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5 that you are to test and examine yourself. See if you any faith or not. Then it says to you, do not, don't you know your own self? That Jesus Christ is within you. It is not a man 2,000 years ago. It is not a man who existed thousands of years ago. It's a power that exists within you, but you must exercise that power. And so Abdullah took Neville and taught Neville to understand the Bible metaphysically and to understand it esoterically. And all, he also taught him that it addresses the human mind and that it must always be interpreted psychologically. You see, if you interpret the Bible psychologically, you will never be looking outwardly. You will always be looking inwardly and you will always be taking responsibility for your thoughts and your actions because you will come to realize that it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality, creating your personality. And then you will understand what it really means when it says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As he thinks in the invisible world, so shall it be established in this visible three-dimensional physical world. Now, if you truly believe that, then you start to practice visualization, morning, noon, and night. You start practicing meditation, learn to calm your mind down. You learn the power of positive thinking. You start to learn to love yourself and believe in yourself. You start to learn to embrace yourself. You start to learn to trust your inner self. You start to learn that your inside teacher is your intuition. And you let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. You start to become happy. You start to become feeling um, good about yourself because you get this knowledge. Because this knowledge is, is liberating. Okay, It will definitely emancipate you from all form of mental slavery because you will have no one to blame but yourself. And you will understand that everything is based on cause and effect. And that you are the cause. You are the cause of everything that is happening in your life. Nothing happened by coincidence. So my brother and my sisters, as I come to a closing, I want to I wanna, I wanna re-emphasize that thoughts become things. I want to re-emphasize that the results that you are getting on the outside have to do what it with, with what is taking place on the inside. You see, we are all we all engage in self-talk. So, what are you saying to yourself when you are with yourself? How do you see yourself? What do you think about yourself? How do you see the world? What do you think of the world? You see, if you have the right thoughts towards yourself and towards the world and towards others, you would realize that you have the power of God within you. And if God creates, more, makes, uplifts, if God do all of these things, you must also do these things. Also, if God destroy, you must become the destroyer also to destroy all of the limiting beliefs, all of the negative thoughts, 
all of the things that are going to keep you down at the bottom and keep you in a low vibration. You have to get rid of all of those things, all of the distractions. You have to get rid of those things out of your life also. So they will definitely need a purification in your life. So you have to clean up your life and purify yourself by having the right thinking. You see, whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are true, things that have bought you in them, you have to think on these things. And then you have to rearrange your mind or renew your mind if you want to have transformation in your life. It's the only way it's, it, it could be done. Okay, so my brother and my sisters, do not look to a God outside of yourself. Do not look to a power outside of yourself. The power is within you. Everything is within you. Everything is false mental. Everything is false psychological. Everything was false a thought. It was false an idea. It was false imagined. Everything is created twice. False in the mind. Then out in this outer environment. This physical three-dimensional world. That most people believe to be real. But my brother, my sisters, the only thing that is real is your awareness, your consciousness, your very life. That is you. That is real. And that is the invisible you, which is the real you, your true essence. So I'm encouraging you to think and operate, first of all, from your invisible self. And your invisible self have no limit in terms of it's not limited, it's limitless. And remember... That you're a spirit having a human experience. You're not a human trying to be spiritual. You're an eternal being. As a matter of fact, you are God in flesh. But not by word. Words. Not intellectually. Okay? It's only through experience. And when you experience your God power, you will know that definitely it's your God power. Because you would be using it. To achieve your every desire and get the results that you so desire in life. And you will know that everything operates as one. You would realize that once you're in alignment, you would recognize your oneness with the universe. And you would realize that even you, you are the universe. You are the all in all. You are the everything. You would realize you are the one who can be omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. Because your imagination is all, about, is all of that. Okay? Nothing else. So stop look on the outside and focus your energy on the inside. And you would realize that truly imagination do create reality. For God in man is man's imagination. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me, what I'm saying, if it really makes sense to you, if it really uh, resonates with you and you have a subscriber already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, if you like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And I will also encourage you to get my latest book. It's called The Secret Vagina, Mystery of the Virgin Birth. And this is where I'm teaching you in that book concerning the Immaculate Conception. And once you understand the Immaculate Conception, you will understand how you can conceive and bring forth anything that you can imagine in this world. You will understand how your ideas can become reality because you understand the true virgin birth. You understand the secret portal and you understand how to transmute your energy into the equivalent of whatever you design this three-dimensional world. Whoa. Okay, so I'll definitely encourage you to get a book plus Spiritual Recipe for Better Living. That's another great book that I'll definitely encourage you to get if you really want to understand the Bible on all three levels, which is the physical level, the psychological level, and the spiritual level. Plus, my many other books that are available on Amazon, I'll definitely encourage you to check out all of the links uh, down below and choose the one that your spirit is leading and guiding you to read. Also, if you'd like to be a part of my Patreon community, you're most welcome and I have a lot of good information available there for you. Also, I have a course of people donating 20 or more dollars. It's called the Inner Sound Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously. And along with that is a bonus course and self-concept. So, my encouragement to you is to just follow your intuition and check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So with that being said, I just want to say peace.
Love you all. I'm out.